So good afternoon and welcome to Andrew's Garage. I haven't made a video like this in a long time. Beautiful hawk. A mom and a papa just cruising around. Anyways, that's not what the video is for. I've looked online everywhere. I have a 2017 Dodge 2500 Ram and it's a beautiful truck. I want to remove the brake rotors and I can't find any videos that show how to do that. So that's what we're going to do today. First thing you want to do is take your cap off of your brake fluid. Put a little rag here because brake fluid is actually extremely caustic. It will remove the paint off anything if it sat there for long enough. And we are going to start. Hopefully my son will be able to edit this video. Alright, let's see here. I need like... Oh, we'll be alright. I can do this. I just need to figure out a way to set the phone up. I know, right? This is like a like 20 minute of process and like an 80 minute video. It's all good. All right, cool, perfect. So first thing we're gonna do is jack the truck up on a jack point. The wheel is gonna move. We got our Dewalt right here. for a beastly truck. Okay. I have a jack stand underneath it. Now we get to the meat and the gravy portion of this part. The meat and the potatoes. So this is your caliper. This is your rotor. These are your brake pads. What you want to do is remove this first and you want a wire. I'll attach a wire to here. Like a coat hanger, doesn't really matter. But you want to make sure that this hangs so it doesn't break your lines. This piece is essentially the brake pad holder. This has to come off the bus. So that's what we'll be doing. Good stuff. Oh, gracious. Oh, I gotta get my wire. That's the second time I've done it. And there's a saying in the business of mechanics that if you can't get it off, you get a bigger hammer. Okay, so we need our wrenches. Our wrenches. So the big one right here, I believe, is a 22. Nope. It's a 23. Might even be a 24. Hey, look at that, it's 24. We're gonna loosen these first before we move this up. And to do that, you don't go around. So righty tighty, lefty loosey. So to get this loose, we gotta go this way. There's really no way to get stuck in there. Oh, this stuff. There's just a Tutor, either. Okay, maybe we'll move the caliper first. All right, yeah, perfect. I believe, and I don't have the wrench for that. Of course not, why would I, right? Another 15. Where are... Now 
this stuff, you don't really have to be like ginger with it. Ready, Teddy, let's do this. Not sure what my kids are So that's a 16. Which is funny because I've done all this is my last one. And like I said, I was thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? I couldn't find a single video on any of this stuff. When you do this and when you put it back on, you really want to torque it to the specs. What are the specs, Mike? Well, that one's really, really tight, and that one's kind of really, really tight. Actually, I think the caliper that connects to the, the hub assembly is about 140 pounds. screwdriver and since we're replacing this this is the hard part to get off i actually ordered a tool to do it but pb blaster you just shook it up in there let it sit for a little bit the hardest part honestly to this whole thing is getting these little things off and you have to get them all off like i said the joys of editing because you're not gonna have to swim. it probably takes 40 minutes to get those off The only thing that you, wow, there's like, oh, well, you don't want that to happen. So then you take this little thing here, put it through here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really should replace these with steel braided brake lines. And I might actually do that one day, but not today. All right, so now we work on the bake hog. Like I said, there's really no way to get a socket up in here. Ready, tidy, lift it. The other one. Uh, I'm not to use a big socket. Big problem is called the big thing. Who said that? Mr. Incredible. Okay, that's great. That's not great size. Uh, that's really hard. Leverage is your friend. Oh, yeah, yeah. How about you try not to hit your truck? 24. Let me see if I have a sock.
facto mundo. Alright. Nothing like using a tool for the round. What do you mean, Mike? Well, this is actually not. And like I said, hey, if you can get a, uh, an actual impact wrench on there, have that. They're usually not this hard to take off. Yep. I mean, there they are. I'd say probably 150 pounds of torque, but that's how I want it. Ooh! Now we got the caliper bracket off. Now we gotta get these off. You just wanna be careful. Like I said, this takes forever, but you just wanna be careful not to mess up your threads. I do have a certain little thingy that I use with this. <sighs> And if you have an easier way to do this, have at it. Alright, I'm going to pause. 